Hello, welcome to another installment of Kyle's Daily Bad Words of Wisdom. And today, I'd like to tell you a little story. On this day, in 1847, the first rescuers reached surviving members of the Donner Party, a group of California-bound immigrants stranded by the snow in the Sierra Mountains. In the summer... Of 1847, in the midst of a western bound fever sweeping the United States, 89 people, including 31 members of the Donner and Reed family, set out on a wagon train for, from Springfield, Illinois. After arriving at Fort Bridge, Wyoming, the immigrants decided to avoid the usual route and try a new trail, recently blazed by the California promoter Lance Field Hessling. The so-called Hessling Cutoff, after, after electing George Donner as their captain, the party departed Fort Bridge in mid-July. The shortcut was nothing of the sort. It set the Donner party back nearly three weeks and cost them much-needed supplies. After suffering great hardships in the Hackatash Mountains, and the Great Salt Lake Desert and along the Hamburg River, they finally reached the Sierra Mountain Range in early October. Despite the lateness in the season, the, the immigrants continued to press on, and oct in October 28th, they camped at Truck E Lake, located in the high mountains 21 kilometers northwest of Lake Tahoe. Overnight, in an early winter spring storm blanketed the ground with snow, blocking the mountain pass and trapping the Donner Party. Most of the group stayed near the lake, known now as Donner Lake, while the Donner family and others made camp six miles away at Elder Creek, building make makeshift tents out of their wagons and killing their oxen for food. They hoped for a thaw that never came. Fifteen of the stronger immigrants, later known as the Four Horn Hope, set out west on snowshoes for Shuttler's Fort near San Francisco on December 26. Three weeks later, after harsh weather and lack of supplies killed several of the expedition and forced the others to resort to cannibalism, Seven survivors reached the Native American village. News of the stranded Donner Party traveled fast to Shuttler's Fort, and a rescue party set out on J July 20 31st, arriving at Donner Lake 21 days later. They found the camp completely snowbound, and the surviving immigrants delirious with relief at their arrival. The rescuers fed the starving group as well as they could and began evacuating them. Three more rescuer parties arrived to help, but the return to Shuttler's Lo Fort provoked equal a warming as most survivors didn't reach safety until late April. Of the 30 89 original members of the Donner Party, only 45 reached California.